and, and keep Michigan from getting anything easy. Michigan. Yeah. Oh, Reese had his foot on. Reese had his back foot on the line. Michigan forces the turnover. Jim, again, you play passively, bringing the ball in against the press. You've got to go long and look for a score if it's available. Michigan's got four guys playing up high, only one back. What a break for the Wolverines. They insert Palinka. They can knock down a couple of threes in the first half. Well, I think in situation, you don't want to foul him when he's a three-point shooter, but North Carolina can afford some fouls here. And, and Jim, we've got to be thinking this Michigan team of the last eight games, four of them went overtime. Do you think it could happen again? Mm. North Carolina involved in that triple overtime national championship back in 57. And of course, Michigan with an overtime championship against Seton Hall. Three to tie. Got it. Oh, it sure looked good. Weber underneath. One point game. North Carolina by one. Michigan has no timeouts left. Sullivan pushed off, got by with it. There it is, go long. Rodel in the corner. 25 seconds remaining. Playing Palenka tried to call, he does in fact commit the foul on Sullivan. So Sullivan will go to the line with 20 seconds remaining. He's a 79% free throw shooter. He'll be in a one and one. Well, there was another young man that went to the line with 17 seconds to go a few years ago. Matt Doherty. Missed the front end of a one-on-one, -on -one, which set up a shot that Sleepy Floyd hit to put Georgetown ahead of North Carolina, which created the shot that Michael Jordan then hit to win it for North Carolina. So Sullivan finds himself in the same shape as Doherty. Williams comes back in. It's a one-on-one -one with 20 seconds left. Remember, Michigan won the first game this season by one on a last-second put back by Rose. Now, let's watch. Michigan will have to bring it. Oh, he lost. He lost it. The referee missed it. Weber brings it into the front court. They have no timeouts for Oh, he caught too called. many timeouts and the technical foul. He called a timeout. Michigan doesn't yes. have any. He got by with a walk, and Jimmy calls a technical. He, he calls a timeout. He doesn't realize that's Michigan's too many, and so it'll be a technical foul. North Carolina shooting and the ball. A huge mental mistake. Steve Fisher calls his team back. You know, at this, you hate to even harken back to 82, but there was a mistake, a mental mistake <laughs> at the that very way. same point of the game between Georgetown and North Carolina in 1982. Absolutely correct. And everybody remembers Freddie Brown with the ball. Worthy really out of position on that particular play. Brown threw it. To what he thought was a teammate out of the corner of his eye and it was James Worthy. Weber thought they had a timeout in their pocket. They did not. Thus it's a technical foul against the Wolverines. North Carolina will shoot two plus have possession. Correct. You'll see the walk however. The referee had his back turn here. Doesn't, doesn't see the play but Weber walks on this one. Boom, boom, there's the walk. Now, here he calls the timeout because he's realized he's in trouble. It's down to 11 seconds. And you can see the exasperated look on the sidelines of the Michigan. Disbelief. Yep. And it'll be Donald Williams going into the line, Jim. And the young man who's had the hot hand throughout this tournament for this team has been the real leader primarily with his great three-point shooting. Now has an opportunity to do it on the line. And if you're Michigan, not much you can do about it right here. You just have to hope that he doesn't make it. And of course, if you're North Carolina and you're George Lynch, you said we want to win one more for Coach Smith. And that's the position they're in. It is almost eerie 
how this is setting up to be such a similar scene to 1982, the other year that Dean Smith won a national championship if he wins one tonight. That'll be and two, Jim, two in the Superdome. Exactly, Jim. He is 5-0 and oh in this building. Coming in here, he's beaten Jelaine twice and then plus the win he had Saturday and the two wins to win the national crown. You know, they've named a dome after him already in North Carolina, yeah, the right. Dean Dome. Do you think there's any possibility that New Orleans may adopt him if Donald Williams is fortunate enough to hit these shots? Yeah, and, you know, it's, it, it's really the Smith Center, so this should be the Dean Dome if maybe, he wins tonight. Maybe you call it the Smith Center when you don't live in North Carolina, <laughs> but when you live in North Carolina, you call it the Dean Dome. Not bad for a coach who had his first head coaching job in 1958 at Air Force as the golf coach. <laughs> he went out to play a round of golf with an assistant football coach named Pepper Rogers and was told by the AD, low man gets the head coaching job for the golf team. Smith won. And in addition to going to being a great coach, he's the man responsible for the $32 million that was raised for that team going. Now look, two-point differential, and since they'll get possession and Michigan can't stop it, he makes two, this game will be over. And Jeff, the other thing that's interesting, we talked about foul problems. It turned out not enough fouls was a problem for Michigan. Four-point difference, North Carolina, with 11 seconds to go, and they have the basketball. There's a young man who's been a great shooter, but he, did, he opt not to come over for shooting practice on Saturday, rather had his meal. There's the offensive move. Got a foul. But he said he'd rather eat his meal than come over and shoot. It certainly hasn't affected his play. Matter of fact, the young man is, uh, I guess, broke a record here for three-point shooting in the final four. Huh? He has made 10 out of 14 in the two games, Donald Williams. And how about Chris Weber? Well, what must be running through that young man's mind right now? Palinka in. Even if Michigan, if should Carolina miss free throws, if Michigan scored the other end, they Carolina doesn't even have exactly. to inbound it. The object is don't even touch the ball. Michigan cannot stop the game, and so the, basically the game is over. Ray Jackson has fouled out with six points. But what about Weber? Well, you know what he's thinking about. He's such a cerebral young man, has handled himself so well in the press conference. He's been absolutely fantastic with his knowledge of the game and the way he answers things, but maybe in the rush of the moment, Jim, going down there, trying to beat two men, realizing it was 11 seconds on the clock, he just blanked out in regard to the foul. Dean Smith, eight seconds away from a second national championship. The Fab Five comes up short again. There you have it. North Carolina is the 1993 national champion.